Enough. Your lines first to all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace and honor. Without the sheep. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning. And they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike. With my new asset, we can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change? Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow you and your bastard breed to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Daban, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... we... Force them to!
Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Spend taxpayers' money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. 